This exercise covers 3.4, page 44, um, chapter 3, customizing a pre-flight profile. Tongue twister there. So step one, um, we're going to use the document we used in 3.3 um, exercise, um, the previous page. Start with the document window open from that exercise and we're going to click the down arrow to the right of the pre-flight error indicator at the bottom left of the document window. That's here. Choose Define Profiles from the pre-flight menu. We're going to click the new pre-flight profile button. At the top left of the at the bottom left of the pre-flight profiles dialog and when prompted name the profile interactive. Step three, expand the images and objects section of the panel by clicking the arrow at the left of the category names. So images and objects right here. You can see all these little different categories. We're going to check the image resolution checkbox. That's the top one. Step four, enter 225 as the minimum image resolution for color and grayscale images and 600 for one bit image minimum resolution. So let's open that up. And again, 225 is the minimum image resolution. Whoops, remind me later. So 225 and 600 for the one bit image minimum resolution. Check the non-proportional scaling of placed object tech checkbox. Let me go ahead and check that as well. Scroll down to the text section of the dialog, which is over here. Let's open that one up. Keep the default settings and check the checkboxes for glyph missing be here and dynamic spelling detects errors. You may also choose to add a warning for minimum font size and non-proportional type scaling. That's up to you. I'll go ahead and do it anyway. Minimum type size and non-proportional type scaling. Step six, click save and then click OK to close the dialog. Go ahead and save it and then OK. Step seven, go to Window, Output, Pre-Flight. Now you may be used to packaging earlier in InDesign 1, integrated Design 1, and um, this is a different way to access the pre-flight functions here in InDesign. So again, um, window, output, pre-flight. And we've got that panel open. Choose pre-flight options from the pre-flight panel menu. It's over on the upper right hand side. And then when the dialog opens, choose your saved profile from the working profile doc line, um, which was digital publishing. Oh no, we made it interactive. Sorry, I got confused there. So our working profile is interactive. And then we're going to go ahead and leave the remaining default settings and click OK to close the dialog box. Close the document without saving to complete this exercise. So basically what we just did is we customized a pre-flight profile so that we know when we're going to pre-flight it will ga gather all the settings that we gave in design earlier um, so we don't have to add them in each and every time we want to pre-flight a similar document. Okay, I will see you in the next video, 3.5, which begins on page 47.